G'day viewers, David here. In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Android Studio. Okay, first step is to head over to the development.android.com page. Okay, and here you can find Android Studio. Just simply click on the download and agree to the terms and conditions and start downloading. Okay, I'm going to save this uh, to my desktop, my downloads, you see there and away it goes okay it's got about 20 minutes to go we've got uh, two more steps we've got to do before we install the android studio and the first is install a java java se development kit okay so what i'm going to do is click on this it's going to take us over to the oracle site okay and from here we're going to download the java se development kit okay so we're in this area here we're going to accept the license and agreement and we're going to come down and find the machine that suits you okay I'm using a Windows 64 and I'm just going to click on that and we're going to start that download as well this one I'm going to run and that's got about uh, says about 20 minutes up its sleeve okay Okay, now that Java's finished downloading, we're going to install it. Um, we've popped up now. I'm just going to click Next. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a different file to load this program into. Okay, so I'm just going to simply click Change. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm just going to call it Android-JDK. Um, development kit okay I'm gonna click OK and now it's telling me where I've installed it and click next and that's going to start installing for us okay now we've gone so far and we've got to click change because I'm going to ch choose a different folder the reason that we're choosing a different folder where to install this is simply for the reason that we don't want it to mess with any of the other Java files. Okay, so I'm going to click Change, and I'm just going to go to this PC uh, C drive, and I'm going to put it in Program Files times 86, and I'm going to make a new folder, and this one I'm going to call Android Dash JDK, and click OK. And that's where we're going to install it there. So we want to remember this for later. Click next. And that'll install for us. From here, we're going to have to change um, a setting on the uh, computer to make Android Studio uh, work properly. Okay. Now simply click close. Okay, so from here we need to make a change to the system. Just go down here Start button and right click. And we're going to go up to System. Click on System. And from here we're going to go to Advanced System Settings. Okay, and from here we are in the Advanced section. And what we need to do is change an environment variable. Okay, so we're just going to click on that and I'm going to add new. I'm going to give it a name and I'll just call this uh, Java Android. And now I've got to go and find the folder where we store Java. Okay, so I'm just going to open up my files, go to PC. C drive, program files 86, and Android JDK. I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to click in the menu bar at the top here. Click in the menu bar up there. And then just right click and copy that. We can close that down. I've just got to put that address in the variable value 
sort of knows where to go. Okay, simple as that. We simply press OK and then OK, OK, close out. Have a look to see how the um, download is going for Android Studio. It's nearly just about done. Okay, now that's complete. I'm just going to close down that download window. And as I said, I saved it to the desktop. And so I'm just going to double click on the Android Studio setup. That'll take a second just to boot up. Okay, here comes the welcome screen. Simply going to click next. We're going to install uh, both of these components. It's going to need about 4.2 gig of space. Click next. Agree to the uh, license, the terms and agreements, and click agree. I'm going to show you where it's going to set it up, what files, uh, path. Click next. Okay, and if you don't want to create a shortcut, just click down there. I'm going to have a shortcut on the desktop and click install. And from here, it's just going to extract and start installing. Okay, it's just about done. Okay, now it's just extracting um, some files. Uh, to install, download and install all this um, software, it does take about 20 to 30 minutes, so just be patient. So the extraction is just about complete. Okay. Click next. And we can start Android Studio, we'll click finish. still a couple more components to be added okay so it does take a few minutes to uh, install Android Studio okay so we can uh, start a new Android project uh, opening this existing Android Studio project or check out our project from another version or import a project or import some um, Android code samples okay and it's just telling us up there the following components are ready to update Android Studio uh, repository Google repository and so on so you can update them if you wanted to okay I'll just simply close that down and if we click on start a new project and from here we just give it an application name and uh, domain details and away we go okay so I hope that helps you uh, download and install um, Android Studio if you got any issues uh, yeah just drop us a comment okay thanks for watching guys